It is the year 2387. Mankind's most successful off-world colony is the planet Morris, a world so Earth-like that many call it Earth-2. But the Morissians are in danger, for the Noza, a savage warrior race from a distant star system, have embarked upon a campaign of galactic domination and enslavement, and Morris is their next target. The colonists' only hope of salvation is the zillion weapon system, three guns of unknown origin energized by a mysterious substance which cannot be analyzed or reproduced and is therefore irreplaceable. But one thing is certain, the molecular disruption beam of the zillion gun is far more powerful than any weapon devised by man. The three Mauritians who will use the zillion guns are an elite fighting force called the White Knights. data confirms target as primary energy source for all life support systems throughout southern hemisphere main silo energy volume estimated at 5.8 billion amperes per planetary rotation silo complex defense system medium heavy weaponry multi-level shielding recommended attack plan m2.4 estimated casualties first level 31 percent second level 44 percent third level 53 percent objective total destruction of main and ancillary silos Estimated probability of success, 100%. Confident is one thing, J.J., but being overconfident can get you killed. Which is exactly what would have happened if this had been the real thing. Roll tape, Amy. Let's take a look at the rest of our heroes' run for glory. Huh? More? Lining today's news is the death of the white knight known as J.J., whose tragic demise was caused by his own carelessness. Though he fought courageously against the Nozian invaders, he forgot every lesson he'd learned in basic training. In fact, his death was totally unnecessary. If he'd waited a mere 30 seconds before attacking the enemy, his zillium pack would have had a chance to recharge. But he forgot to recharge his weapon and was killed. J.J., are you listening to me? What I'm saying just might save your life. Look, what you just did in the simulator proves what an amateur you really are. Just because I made a mistake doesn't make me an amateur. Nobody could make it through a simulation like that in the first try. Not without a programmed attack scenario. <sighs> Look, we all make mistakes. That's what the simulator runs are for. But if you don't understand how the zillion weapon system works, it's a waste of time. Listen, members of a team have to be able to have faith in each other. My life may very well depend upon your being there when I need you. There are only three of these guns, and if you don't want to learn how to use one, we'll find someone who does. I hear you, all right? I know how important the zillion guns are, but how come there are only three? If everybody had one, the nose it wouldn't stand a chance, so why don't we make some more? Because we can't. Go ahead, Amy, explain it to him. No problem. You see, our scientific teams have been analyzing the zillion guns ever since they were discovered, and now they know the functions of every component except one, the black box. That's where the zillium is converted into energy, and they still don't understand how it works. They also can't figure out the molecular structure of zillium itself, which means we can't replenish our supply by duplication or by molecular regeneration. 
So if the White Knight should allow any of the guns to fall into the hands of the Noza, we've had it, see? Sure, we don't know where they come from or how they work because our scientists can't figure it out. So till they get smarter, we have to risk our lives. Hmm. <laughs> so you have to work harder because of all those dumb scientists, is that it? Good thinking, JJ. Looks like we finally found something we can agree on, champ. How nice. Yeah, right. You're supposed to be on watch. You can't do that and sing at the same time. I was watching. There's nothing out there. Geez, these energy silos are surrounded by 100 kilometers of nothing. Our spy satellites can detect an attack from any direction. And the nose of gotta know that the control centers are protected by the most elite troops on Mars. So sending advanced scouts to stand watch at a place like this is a waste of time. You ask me anyway. Well, no one's asking you. Right, my opinion doesn't count for anything. Which is why I'm out here doing a useless job with nothing better to do than sing. At least pretend to do your duty, will you? Pick up the magnifiers and take a look. If the spy satellites catch you playing guitar, we're both going to end up in the stockade. Oh, all right. <laughs> hey! Huh? Come here, take a look for yourself. I can't believe this. It's incredible. Now what? Don't tell me. Another squad of rookie troopers on perimeter patrol have gotten themselves lost, right? I think we got a problem here. Approaching from 70 kilometers south of Energy Station. All troops deployed in Quadrant B. Intercept enemy at Point Delta. Star priority, code 10. All personnel to defense stations. All stations report readiness status to Com Central. Satellites show three battalions spearheaded by two armored divisions. Estimated enemy contact with perimeter defense force, one minute, 40 seconds. Perimeter reports enemy approaching Point Delta. We can't let the NOSA take that energy control center. Contact Central Command and tell them that we need all the help we can get, now. Advise all non-military personnel to evacuate. We're going to have to use all the troops we've got to protect that silo complex, and we can't afford the manpower to protect the civilians. Yes, sir. Hangar open. Understood. Protective shielding procedure underway. We'll need about 40 minutes, sir, and then we'll be wrapped up tight. What? But 15, that's impossible. Total shield activation can't be done in that amount of time. Prep sequence for silo defense system completed. Evacuation completed. Right. Begin shielding sequence. Activating all shields now, sir. <laughs> Slowly? Slowly now, or we'll jam the mechanism. Sir, we're gonna be offline for at least two hours. Looks like the guys at headquarters really blew it this time. <laughs> What's wrong? What the hell? There must be thousands of them. They're filling up the whole sky. What are we gonna do? We're sitting ducks without those shields. Everybody get back to your stations. Right. We gotta get that system online as fast as we can.
Early reports indicated a concentrated Noza invasion force far south of the silo complex. We learned too late that this attack was a feint, a decoy. A large percentage of the silo complex defense force was ordered to meet this supposed threat, leaving the civilians, mostly scientists and technicians, dependent on the automated shielding system. We know now that the silo complex was their prime objective all along, but their plan was discovered too late to prevent them from overwhelming the complex and annihilating most of the personnel. Our troops are engaging the enemy, but I believe our only hope of regaining control of the silo complex is by sending in the White Knights. White Knights reporting is ordered, Mr. Gord. We were briefed on the way in, sir. Sounds like big trouble. Amy, we'll need a printout of all information relating to the silo complex. Right. Without that reactor control center, our southern hemisphere will be defenseless. If we allow them that strong a foothold on Mars, we'll never defeat them. You ask me, this is a job for the White Knights. Mm-hmm. Yes, champ, it is. Colonial Command has asked me to send you in. Sir, there are only three of us. We've got a whole army out there. What about them? We've got the zillion guns. <laughs> An airborne division will lift off in one hour. You'll leave at once and try to protect the silos until they get there. If you fail, the Noza will destroy the entire complex. Now, move out, and the best of luck. Sir! Sir. There's an underground system of tunnels beneath the compound. That's how we'll get into the main silo without being detected. Which tunnel should we use? Give me a couple of seconds. Found it! We take this elevator to the 12th sublevel, and then follow this tunnel for 200 meters to the main silo perimeter. We're approaching the silo complex. ETA, 90 seconds. You guys ready to start the countdown for disengagement, or do you want me to circle? We're ready, Dave. Go ahead and start the mm -hmm. countdown. Our target is Rep Point C3, and tell Mr. Wonderful to get off his butt and get down here on the double. <laughs> Your presence has been requested. Thank God it's not another simulation exercise. Those things are a total waste of time, if you ask me. Now, I prefer the real thing, and this little beauty will show the nose of what reality is all about. ETA, 30 seconds, altitude 7,000 feet, descending at 280 feet per second, leveling off at 500 feet. Roger, Dave. Standing by for final countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, ready? Disengage. <laughs> Pilot is locked in. Let's do it.
No damaged silos as far as I can see. At least not yet. But if we do manage to get in there, how do we know they don't have the whole place wired with a timer charge? We don't, JJ. That's just a chance we'll have to take. We all know what we've got to do. Move out. So, where's the entrance to this tunnel we're supposed to find? You're looking at it. With the shields down, it should open simply by pressing the control panel. What are we waiting for? Cover me, guys. You got it. Go, JJ. All right, we're going in. Stay together and be careful. Roger. Carefully, sir. <laughs> No kidding. You can take your masks off. <laughs> Why do we need the sidecar? Because we gotta go in together and this is the only way. Well, okay. But how come you're sitting in the driver's seat and I'm sitting over here? What's wrong? Don't you trust me? Come on, let's go. Lights are off. Main power's down. The auxiliary system is all they've got left. It conserves energy by lighting only essential areas. So we're gonna have to trust our sensors till we get to the main silo room. There's no way of knowing what we're gonna find when we get there. So we'll go in with weapons drawn and ready. Right. Be prepared for a long drop. That silo floor's 100 meters down. Hold on tight, guys. We're going in. JJ? Where are you? Up here! Oh! Huh? <sighs> oh, boy. JJ, stay quiet and no sudden moves. Above you, look! We've got a surprise for you. Charge, JJ. You've got to recharge your zillion gun. You can't do it that way. Switch the gun to the other hand. Will you listen to me, you imbecile? Switch the energy packs with your right hand while you hold the zillion gun with your left. I'll get rid of those guys right now. Champ, wait. Listen, if you miss and hit any part of this silo, we're all going to be blown to kingdom come. Uh-huh. Got to get closer. That should do it. Come on. When are you going to remember? It takes 30 seconds for the pack to recharge. Huh? Now start your countdown. All right. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, I need a break. You figure it out. 
That airborne division's really something, isn't it? Pretty impressive. You know, when I was a kid, I used to dream of joining up with Airborne Command. Hey, if that's what you want, just ask Gord. I'm certain he can arrange it for you. We've got a whole bunch of new applicants for the White Knights. It wouldn't be any problem replacing you. I wouldn't leave the White Knights for anything, champ. You know that. I feel like I'm part of a terrific team. And I'll bet you feel the same way. Yes, I do. Right. And I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Hey, come on, what do you say we head for home? Sounds good to me.